Yesterday we moved anchorages. We were anchored out in front of Sugar Beach and then we sailed about 10 nautical miles to Hoffman's Key. And it looks like a really cool area. So we're now anchored in Saddleback Key, Hoffman's Key area. It's so pretty here. There's a bunch of mini beaches and white rocks, blue water, white beaches, some greenery, and there's a blue hole, um, Hoffman's Blue Hole, just around the corner from us. So come along as we explore this amazing part of the berries. I think we're gonna be here for a couple days. First up, Let's check out this blue hole. Getting the dinghy all fueled up. Yep. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> Hopefully with the correct mixture. Guess we'll find out. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get any more clips of the blue hole while we were there, but here's a little bit of info. Hoffman's Blue Hole is a saltwater blue hole fed by the ocean. It's about 600 feet wide and located in the Berry Islands. Now, let's get into the rest of our day where we attempt some spearfishing and head to the beach. We found a cool little spot to snorkel or to dive, so I'm gonna go look for some lobsters and snappers and possibly conch. Let's go. Let's go. And I have heroically taken the duty of lifeguard. Dingy ASMR with Aurora. We have a nice cold. It's very rare to get a cold drink on our boat because fridge space is limited. But I have a cold Diet Coke. Here we go, ASMR. Oh. One thing I wish I had which you should try, is a bit of lime in a Diet Coke, a little squeeze of lime, so good. Not really any luck. We saw a lobster, but I thought it might be too small, and I got a little fish for bait, so. Let's go. Fishing rod is ready. Had a relaxing trip to the beach. We did some fishing, ran around in the sand, and waded through the water finding some cool creatures. Moved 
to Anchorages, so you know what time it is. Time to check the anchor. When we were setting the anchor, it kept dragging sandy patches, but also bits of, I think, rock. Let's check this thing out. They're all ready. This chain is not straight. At this point, we were wondering, is it only our anchor that hasn't set, or is it the whole anchorage? Sure enough, as we snooped on other people's anchors, nobody's anchor was set. So our friends had a little incident and their boat is aground. They're waiting for high tide to hopefully drive it off, but maybe pull it off. But they have a water maker, so they're using up all their water as quickly as possible to lighten their boat. So we are gladly taking some because we don't have a water maker <laughs> and we want a shower. Yes. We will take all the water rations we can get. Thank you, Aria, for the water. And over there we have our friends on Dauntless. And there was one other boat with us. Cariana. Cariana, but they just left today. But it's been fun buddy boating with everyone. Hi Dauntless. They've been our buddy boats in our group since we, some of them we saw on Lake Worth and we've been traveling with them since West End. So it's very nice. I think some of them will be heading to the Exumas with. We're heading south today, more south today, to a marina, Chub Key, to get ready to cross to the Exumas, so let's do it. We are just motoring out of the cut right now, getting in some open water, then we're gonna get our sails up and hopefully have a nice quick sail down to Chub Key.